Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling. And today, I'm getting ready to show you guys how we're gonna turn this into that with me, AB. Now listen, you guys read the title. You already know we making red beans and rice. And if you've been following this channel, you know we are gonna take the mystery out of uh, cooking and we trying to simplify these recipes. But I can't take no credit for this one right here. You're talking about like just super easy. And I'm sure a lot of people don't know how easy it is to make. Otherwise, everybody will be having this like all the time. Listen, I'm not gonna over talk it. We finna get right into the meat and potatoes of this video and let's make it happen, y'all. Now, we're gonna go over the ingredient list. And you can see that I post them on the screen right here. And I also, you know, point at them just so you can see them. I just want to let you guys know, listen, this was a super easy recipe to put together. And I've already done the, you know, the work. So there's no need for me to just show, you know, like chopping, you know, the onions or the celery or things like that. But I want you to pay attention to that uh, meat. That's that andouille sausage. And you know how it comes in like two, two links. One I just cut, you know, in slices and the other I cut in quarters. And then we got the red kidney beans. If you look down in the description box below, I will show you. You know and give you another method so that you just in case you did not soak your uh, beans overnight I can show you and tell you how you can just do it within an hour and five minutes you'll be good to go now once you got everything done when it's soaked and your beans are ready and your ingredients are already uh, pre-chopped go ahead and add everything into your crock pot now what you're seeing me do right here is more so for the video just so you guys can just see it but I'm gonna tell you this if everything is on your uh, chopping block like that you can just push it all inside of there it doesn't make a difference because at the end of this when I get ready to uh when I get ready to turn on the crock pot I'm gonna stir it up all anyway again this is just for the uh the, you know for the presentation of this video hey you know what it looks good too so just adding all of my ingredients into the uh into the crock pot and then we're gonna add our seasoning and then what you did not see in the beginning was I had chicken broth that's getting ready to come up in just one second Listen, you're going to need four cups, excuse me, you're going to need six cups of liquid. Right now, I'm putting in four cups of chicken broth, and then I'm going to add two cups of water. That's just, I've been making this so long, that's just the way I like it. You know, uh, you can tailor make it and do it the way you want to. You can go six cups of chicken broth. However, I just suggest you, you know, do it my way, see what you like, and then go from there. Now, here we coming back with the water, so that's equaling our six cups of uh, liquid. We get that in there, and then we're going to go ahead and add our water. You know what? Let me just go ahead and say it like I always say it. That's that W sauce. Now you want to add your chili powder and your salt. After adding that, then you just want to go ahead and stir it. You remember what I was telling you? You're going to end up doing this anyway. So you can add them all in together or you can chop them up, put them in one by one. It doesn't make a difference. The end result is you just want to get it like this. You want to mix it up. And believe me, I know it's simple. But listen, if you want to make red beans and rice and you want to have their traditional taste to it, there you go. Now, when it comes to time, to the time, you just want to go ahead and turn it on. You want to set it on high for six hours. And then when you're done, I promise you, you're going to think, man, it, I don't see how it's going to come out that way. You got to give this a try. And once you do, you'll figure it out that, hey, you know what? It's, the mystery has been, you know, taken out of this. And this is what you get right here. And then for your rice, I use a long grain white rice. You know, uh, it's up to you whatever type of rice you want to use. But listen, that rice with this combination of juice and all of the flavors in here is just hands down awesome. And there you have it. Red beans and rice. Easy, fast and delicious. So tell me what you think about that there. Super easy to make, huh? You know what? It's a big name, red beans and rice. But a lot of people didn't know it was just that easy. You know what? I'm sure if they did, there'd be a lot more people making that. You know what? And listen, I gave you guys a pro tip. Did you like the way that I put that uh, that four cups of that chicken broth? And then I came back with two cups of water. And that's up to you. You can go with all, you know, six cups total of chicken broth. That's really up to you. You know what? That's just like the perfect blend for my palate and how I like it. And then another thing is, don't forget, we can turn it up and treat it like it's greens or something like that. We can go ahead and put that smoked turkey leg or we can put that ham hock in there. Either way, hands down, this is it. If you guys try it or thinking about trying it, I want you guys to go ahead and leave me a comment down in the comment section below and let me know, hey, what it do? Hey, with that being said, you guys, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me go ahead and just thank you for watching my channel. You know what? If you like what you saw, don't forget to smash that like button. You know, tell everybody, listen, there's a channel out here that's taking the mystery out of cooking and simplifying these recipes. And with that being said, you guys, I'm out. Peace.